Can you read me a bedtime story, please, Big Howard? Of course I can. It's called Kenny's Magic Bee Pyjamas. Wow. Here we go. Kenny's Magic Bee Pyjamas, pyjamas made of bees. Once upon a time, there was an ordinary little boy called Kenny. Hello, Kenny. And Kenny wanted some nightwear made out of some sort of flying insect, so he went to see Mrs. Polly Pumblesnucket. Hello, Mrs. Polly Pumblesnucket. Now, Mrs. Polly Pumblesnucket has a very important job in the village. What do you think her very important job is? I think she's a matador. You think she's a matador? Yes, a matador. I don't think she's very likely to be a matador. Yes, she... Mrs. Polly Pumblesnucket is a matador. Whenever anybody in the village wants to slowly kill a bull, it's Mrs. Polly Pumblesnucket they call. Hello, Mrs. Polly Pumblesnucket, said Kenny. I want a, some night clothes made out of some sort of flying insect. What sort of flying insect do you think I should have some night clothes made out of, Mrs. Polly Pumblesnucket? Well, I... Do the voice. OK. I've always wanted a night shift made of beetles, said Mrs. Polly Pumblesnucket. Next, Kenny went to see old Mr. Jumbleface, who lived in the bubbly tree. What's a bubbly tree? We'll see, shall we? The bubbly tree is a magical tree that grows in a very special way. It grows just like a bubblegum bubble, getting bigger and bigger and rounder and rounder every time it grows, until after a very long time, it bursts, killing everyone in the immediate vicinity. Oh dear. Yes. Old Mr Jumbleface has a very special face. Every time you see him, his face looks like a different thing. What do you think old Mr Jumbleface's face will be today? I think it would be... A Toyota Corolla. A what? A Toyota Corolla. It's a sort of Japanese car. I know what a Toyota Corolla is allowed. I don't think it's likely to... It's an F-registered Ford Focus. I was close. Yes, you were, weren't you? Hello, old Mr Jumbleface, said Kenny. Harumph, said old Mr Jumbleface, um, who was extra grumpy today. <sighs> yeah. Not only did he live in a tree that would explode one day, but today his head was the size of a small family car. I want some bedclothes made out of some sort of flying insect, said Kenny. Do the voice. I'm, I was going to, um, I think you should have a nightclap, nightcap made of locusts. Thank you, old Mr Jumbleface, said Kenny, on his way out of the bubbly tree. I hope your head is something more convenient tomorrow, and I hope your house doesn't blow up and kill you while you sleep. Just then, Kenny heard a voice. Oh, Do the voice. Excuse me, said the tiny voice. It was a very tiny mouse. What about some pyjamas made of bees? That's a marvellous idea, said Kenny. And so he got his magic bee pyjamas. Now you might be thinking, do the bees sting him at all? Were you wondering that, little Howard? Yes, I am. And the answer is yes, they sting him quite a lot. Especially when he rolls over in his sleep. He looks quite badly stung there. Yes, he does, doesn't he? The end. Good night, little Howard. Good night, big Howard. Big Howard? Yes, little Howard. That story was a bit weird, wasn't it? Yes, it was, little Howard.